Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to be looking at another SPAC. This is one of my favorite SPACs going into 2021 and it kind of reminds me of Jumia Technologies and this is kind of like the Amazon of um, Indonesia. So this company is called Tokopedia and the rumor says that this company might be merging with BTWN stock Bridgetown Holdings which is backed by Peter Thiel so I do have a position in BTWN um, I bought the stock around at 13.34 at $100 a share um, on 14th of December um, right now as of uh, 27th of December it's trading around $17 it did go up to the 18th, but it has come in a downwards momentum. Um, the reason I think it's coming to a downwards momentum is um, because there's no confirmed merger between um, Tokopedia and BTW. And it's all going on a rumor, so I think people might have wanted to take out uh, some of their profits. Um, I'm holding on to this one. It's kind of not really like a proper investment. It's more like a gamble because... It can pay off and it can't pay off as well. If it doesn't pay off, it's probably going to go back to 10. But BTWN is ma backed by Peter Thiel and another Chinese investor, I do believe, are from Hong Kong. Uh, so they, they are going to charge a premium of like around 11 or $12. So they are thinking of merging with uh, a tech unicorn. And uh, the rumor says it's going to be Tokopedia. So now let's get around Tokopedia. So Tokopedia... Uh, as I mentioned, is like the Amazon of um, Indonesia, and Indonesia is quite a growing population as well, and a growing market economically as well. I think they have a population of around 300 million people, I do believe so, and one of the largest Muslim populations. So that's just a little bit of uh, history about Indonesia. So um, this is the largest in Indonesia, and it's valued around 10 billion right now, I do believe. Um, I just want to show you guys um, Jumia Technologies, which is the Amazon of like Africa in a way. And this stock has gone all the way from $8 in September to around 40 or even close to $50, which is around a 476% return. Its market cap is still pretty tiny. So I do think there's some great opportunity regarding um, Tokopedia if the merger can happen and it's not all just one rumor um, sorry guys um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, where do I see this stock going so in my personal opinion I want to take some money out of this stock once it gets around the 20 to 25 ranges somewhere between then I'm not selling until then um, I might slowly hedge my position out like 10 stocks every time it moves at 10% around the 20 ranges. And I kind of want to get around closed around the 30 ranges. I do think it can go to the 30 ranges from the 17. It is a big risk if you're buying it at 17.22 because there might be a little bit more of a downfall right now. As you can see, there's a downwards momentum and uh, the stock can go back to the 15 ranges because it's all just a rumor right now. But if you see this rumor get confirmed by Tokopedia, I do think it's a great stock and it can go to the 30s. Um, the merger date will be happening uh, in the first quarter, I believe, of next year. And that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is my third biggest SPAC holding, I do believe. Um, I might just um, review my all my SPACs in the next video and which SPACs I'm buying into. Um, this is a cool one, Tokopedia, and I definitely believe in this company and the growing market of Indonesia. So that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section, and make sure to like this video. Bye-bye.